This is Akash Vani. Time for a weekly program. Our guest. I hand over the mic to the show host Nitish Arora for the same. There is so much of written word all over the world, but if you are not literate in that particular language, that uh, particular work becomes redundant for you. Uh, there is a saying, "Hath kangan ko Farsi kya, padhe likhe ko Farsi kya." But then I always used to say that if I have not read Farsi, I padha likha bhi hoon to Farsi ke liye me to jankar nahi hoon. So that is why perhaps United Nations decided that there should be a particular day called International Translation Day (ITD) in short. And today is ITD. Now this translation process and translation work has also undergone a sea change over a period of time. There is a lot of intervention by artificial intelligence in translation today, and that happens to be the topic of today's our guest. And I'm very fortunate to have Dr. Pawan Kumar as our guest today. He is working. on the technology to take the languages indian languages various languages to everybody and anybody there is an interference as translator but that interference is again artificial intelligence dr pawan kumar welcome to our studios uh, i have tried to explain it to my listeners but uh, when you are here you let us know that uh, how good or bad is the interference of technology in translating the works because this year the theme is translation as art worth protecting if it is art can we have the interference of artificial intelligence in it thanks first of all inviting me here so let me just explain some of the things some of the terms that you have already used in my introduction see technology one is technology right if you look back into history technology per se is any machine which uses some technique to do something but if you see the history of that technology or the machine any machine that human has invented or built or produced for that matter is basically to aid the human physical capability when we say physical capability it is you can see three four aspects of the cap- human capability one is a speech capability other is a vision capability third is a human muscle power capability and fourth is cognition ai comes as far as cognition is concerned and sometimes when you are using any machine or for that matter any technology truly speaking it extends your physical abilities and in doing that extending that physical ability it it actually does what what is a basic human desire if you try to trivialize those desire it could be something like less effort less human effort something in lesser time or maybe something in time it is not only something in lesser time it sometimes it is in time now let us focus on translation per se the role of ai when ai looks to translation there have been research and translation let me tell you that uh, the, the language processing task typically the actually the conception of computer was based on decoding german codes so it was the computation itself has started with translation because you wanted to understand what the germans are encoding in their messages and britishers wanted to understand that and that is a basic starting point of computing itself so the mm-hmm. computing itself has begun from that place so before that there were calculators not computing the thought of computing actually is that point of time so translation has started at that point of time it is still getting continued and i do not know even in my lifetime the researchers will be able to build systems which can produce translations which are at least accurate if not good means that uh, the translations that the computers are doing or the artificial intelligence is doing uh, that is because uh, you said that volumes uh, easily if somebody is able to do the whole uh, whole gamut of work and translate into it there is when uh, an artificial machine comes into but then does it really kills the soul uh, of no, it no um, let me just uh, clarify you will get to that see when we say translation translation has many aspects one is a purpose of, as a we see as a purpose of communication right instant communication when there is a role of ai right other is decimation right one could be art when you are 
uh, translating a literature it is art right literature has a l- lot of aspects everything needs to be translated the culture needs to be translated traditions customs everything needs to be translated but if you see how ai helps us in translation it is helping even if we see with the angle of art there also it is helping give you example a sculpture people used to build stone sculptures but when they get very good tools their productivity increases so ai is basically a tool in the hand of human being to produce more in lesser time higher accuracy and maybe lesser effort even cognitive effort so then which again uh, brings me to that point that art is uh, being killed at the altar of volume in translations no suppose you were able to translate 20 books in a year if ai helps you to translate the same quality with the same quality but now you can translate maybe 25 30 books per year because it is reducing your cognitive load my art is not in recalling something my art is there in recognizing something and what ai does ai actually is trying to transform lot of recall problems which can be converted into a recognition problem because human has evolved to recognize things human has not evolved to recall things it is very difficult for people to recall lot of things from memory That's but right. people can recognize because they have evolved for it what ai does it is trying to with the linguistic tools that we have in the ai for translation we have those tools which is trying to provide you a very approximate answer so you recognize okay okay this is my answer i am very near to my exact appropriate word what i was looking for suppose you want to think uh, this idiomatic expression we can write this way or that way and then the machine tells you these are the four options you can write you can immediately select oh this is a right so technology is converting recall into recognition and by that it is helping you to reduce your cognitive load so which means uh, uh, this is a very good tool but uh, at the moment we cannot hand over the entire translation work to ai we still need human intervention because that tool will give you more options then you have to select it's ultimately the human mind and brain that will work and decide that what is right and what is wrong correct sir i understand that you also developed a tool uh, for artificial intelligence right. in translating so what were the challenges because uh, Uh, when we say that uh, bharat mein kos kos pe zuban badal rahi hai nayi language aa rahi hai so generally dialects uh, vary from uh, one point to the other so this must be very challenging for the machine to understand currently the focus of ai is into most of the majority languages right okay. because in a written form lot of data driven technology the kind of data that is required in a written form is not available we being a oral tradition we have lot of speech corpus but we do not have much of text corpus and that too not digitized so it is first of all not digitized and it is not available in terms of written corpus so the focus is on majority language that may be 2022 languages that we have the focus lies there okay. uh, where we have the literature and uh, formal script and some grammar is there because finally machine has to understand written text so right? that came very easy or uh, there were challenges in that also challenges are there but then um, the technology itself starts with uh, minimum but uh, the technology the statistical methods the neural methods they can start with minimum but they can keep on improving right so with every good data representative data that you are getting you try to improve the technology so from on a scale of 1 to 10 how far we have come i will give you three numbers fine. keeping fine. myself in three shoes fine academicians researchers if i behave like them i will give uh, almost 8 9 marks right okay. 8 to 9 marks right mm-hmm. if you see as a technologist who is finally taking the technology to people there i will say maybe 7 but if you ask me utility of that finally how useful this technology is for the common mass i will say it is more than 9 because it is those people who need this technology it is not those people who deliver the service and who is that target uh, exactly audience? so if you can give me 2 minutes i will explain it very clearly now suppose you being a person bilingual you understand maybe trilingual also but i am considering you are bilingual so you understand english you understand hindi now you are given something in hindi suppose you are told it is translated 
you naturally slip being educated you slip and see the english content and then you evaluate ki okay how ai has helped to produce this hindi content and what you fee actually see in that hindi content what is missing what is incorrect that's a natural way of my brain to slip into i don't see what is correct i always see what is incorrect what is incorrect correct now think of someone who doesn't understand english and you tell him this is a text which your son has sent from america lekin it is in hindi now now you can read it he will say no he always sends english the text and i uh, go and get it uh, read That's from it. somebody else mm-hmm. and he reads and he figures out yes thik likha utility is something how it helps me as i told you every machine is useful if it extends your capability but to a academician he sees it ki isme anek galtiyan hain ye galtiyan hain ye sudhar ki gunjaish hai ye hai wo hai aise sochte isliye maine kaha utility mein bahut kuch mil raha hai कॉरपोरेट्स में लोग स्पैनिश मेल को अंग्रेजी में पढ़ के प्रॉपर जवाब अंग्रेजी में भेज देते हैं और स्पैनिश वाला उसको स्पैनिश में पढ़ के प्रॉपर समझ लेता है और दोनों के बीच में कम्युनिकेशन हो जाता है अंटिल अनलेस इट्स रियली ए लीगल और वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स मैटर दे रियली डोंट कंसल्ट नेटिव स्पीकर विच मीन्स दैट दिस इज थीम दैट ट्रांसलेशन एज एन आर्ट वर्थ प्रोटेक्टिंग Uh, we have still not reached that mark uh, uh, to translate any work as a piece of art we still uh, we are still lagging and this will take time there is always a scope of improvement but as i told you what is the purpose ai says i am giving you a tool now you can use it to save your time you can use it to have better accuracy you can use it to produce more so that is what is uh, any tools purpose is now that b- so, brings me to a million dollar question for many a translators world over lots of people this translation work is their bread and butter now how challenging is it for them to fight with this new found tool which has come to everybody and you as you said that anybody can translate from see, spanish to tool english will to al- al- always complement one's skill and capability no time will come when we, you will say you don't need translators you will need translators in different incarnations the current way when we look to a translator you d- look it differently in future you will look to them in a different manner but neither that profession is going to die neither there will be less translators profession will grow like anything once they will have better tools that profession will start producing more and more maybe million times more content and people will be reading lot of literature lot of knowledge like lot of academic work technical work is available in russian french german now they will get translated they have already got translated but then similar translations and that will be in terms of millions so these translators what are the new skills they need to acquire after yes. they are having this yes. ai as a tool that is what is more important every person is not similarly capable right everyone is not capable in a similar manner like matlab somebody can coin something uh, so he can coin very good words this tool will help him to do something where he lacks his skills every tool will finally help people and ai is any way going to help and produce lot of translation tasks so friends when uh, you are uh, fast uh, losing your eyesight an artificial specs is not something that you have to fight with is something which has come for your assistance symbiotic in nature same is with artificial intelligence and anybody who is uh, feel threatened any translator who feel threatened that artificial intelligence is going to kill your job we are Never. ending this today's discussion on a very happy note as uh, dr pavan kumar himself said that you are going to get a lot of work in abundance and uh, there is a lot to do this is a tool which will assist you in uh, creating more and uh, getting volumes of translated work beautiful. selecting the right uh, beautiful the right uh, option that uh, ai will give you and human brain will always prevail over artificial intelligence uh, dr pavan thank you so much for being our guest today thank you, thank you sir you will listening to the weekly program our guest that is broadcast every monday at 9:15 am don't forget to tune in next week same day same time and same frequency for more on our guest have a nice day